We've all heard of ChatGPT, but there are new kids in town and these are incredible tools that you don't want to miss. I'll be revealing to you three that you can start using right as you watch this video. And I promise you the last tool will change your life completely. So in position number three, we have Ho.com, which is an AI bot built by Quora that allows you to interface with all the chatbots that are available. So for example, you can use the Facebook Llama or you could use GPT-3 or GPT-4. And it's one place where you have all the chatbots. Bots. I am not the biggest fan of that tool, but it gets the job done. Tool number two is called you. This chatbot is absolutely phenomenal. The purpose of this is to replace your search engine. Everybody understands how Googling works, right? You go to Google, you type in stuff, and then stuff pops out. Cool, right? Here's the actual problem we face. When you go to Google, all you get is search results. But when you go to a chatbot, all you get is data that's offline. So one thing only has online and one thing only has offline. You allows you to do both. So yesterday I was asking it questions like, what are alternatives to Amazon S3. On the right hand side, I see all the search results. And at the bottom, it's writing to me and answering the question as well, because it has access to the internet. I'll ask it things like, hey, what are alternatives to? And I'll put a name of a tool that I like. On the right hand side, yeah, I see search results and they're pretty cool. But at the bottom, I'm actually just seeing it go and it'll list out like eight or nine different ones. And it's doing that by actually going through all the search results and figuring them out intelligently and then giving you an answer. So I'm a huge fan of you and I'm pretty close to replacing Google with it. I'm considering it very, very strongly. I do find myself using it quite a bit. In number one position, I have something and God, this is good. I'm jealous that I'm even sharing it with you guys. I don't know why, but I kind of want to keep it a secret, but uh, all right, I'll share it. It's called Claude, C-L-A-U-D-E, Claude AI. This bot is absolutely ridiculous and out of its mind. See, ChatGPT, you can give it a few hundred words at a time and it does a pretty damn good job of explaining and reasoning through it. And it's mind blowing. I use it every freaking day. That's cool. The problem happens when I want to give it more context. When I add stuff in, ChatGPT is like, oh, it's over limit and I cannot access it. I don't know why ChatGPT has a accent, but that's how I hear it. And another problem that happens is if I need you to write chat GPT, you've often noticed it writes in a really cringy way, especially if you tell it, Hey, write me some copy. It'll be like, hello, welcome to the store. Cool guy. Guys like you seems to buy stuff like this. Don't ya? And it's so f cringy. And you're like, chat GPT, just shut the f up, do some math, solve my coding problems and never ever talk to me like that again. God, on the other hand, can handle 75,000 words, which means you could give it a book, tell it to write the next book, done. Or better use cases, if you're a writer, you could give it 30,000 words of your own writing. I mean, that's book worth of writing. So you could go and copy all your emails you've ever written or copy a lot of your emails, paste that into it. And so you'll now have all of your emails inside of Claude. And then you ask it, hey, write an email for me that sells my course around computer programming to people who want to switch their careers in 2023 and join the modern AI full stack revolution. Boom! You'll get sick ass copy. So for copywriters, it's great. For developers and coders, it's also great. On ChatGPT, I could only give that f like a tiny bit of context at a time and then be like, fix this code for me. And it would try to fix it. Sometimes can't fix it because it doesn't understand the entire context of the app. So like while it would fix that one problem, it would break a bunch of different files in the code. Claude has been absolute game changer. I am so freaking excited. So if you are alive right now, you should be doing something with these AI tools. You could use it to write. You could use it to solve problems. You could use it to create fitness workouts for yourself. Another great thing about that is it has access to the internet somehow. I don't know to what capacity, but like I typed in who is clever programmer, which is my brand with a million subscribers on YouTube. It was like he teaches YouTube and he's a coding guy and he's a developer and blah, blah, blah. And I was blown away. I was like, holy shit. If you found value, hit the like button, subscribe, love your face. Peace.